Hello everybody, here we are at the developphp.com forums and we have a question which I think is best answered with a video tutorial. And we have Cougar and he asks, hello guys, how can I add background music with control buttons? Stop, play, thanks in advance. And this is for Flash and ActionScript 3. So I said I will make a nice easy video tutorial for you. So what I've done is I set up a little file that demonstrates this nicely and what it is is in scene one of the flash website say this would be your flash website I just put nested the whole thing inside of a movie clip inside that movie clip you have all the elements of your site and everything and a little timeline here and on top of everything in the timeline I put background audio now if you have a lot of frames within this timeline you just extend the audio out to cover all frames like uh, by pressing F5 cover all the frames like that and since mine just has one, it's just sitting on frame one. So what I have here is a button that you can just grab and put into any file, any site. And it refers to a file on the server. So in the folder where this is all living on my desktop, my website, here's the example. Okay, so let's take a look at the example. And this would be the setup in your folder. Your flash FLA and your SWF would be wherever it is on your server for your website and then song.mp3 would be in the same folder the same directory alright so now let's double click the SWF and see what we have so you can see I've got a little simulated website those buttons don't even work that's just an example of how your site would be and then we have the button up top here you can see the music is looping and playing by default when the song ends I programmed it to loop start over so the background audio will be non-stop and you can shut it off. So the user can shut it off. What it does is it pauses the song at the point when they shut it off. When they press play again to listen, it resumes. So that's pretty much everything he asked for. And the way I set it up in the flash file, you can just take this. This is Flash Action Script 3 by the way. I'm working in Flash CS3. That way CS3, CS4, and CS5 users can benefit from downloading and looking at these files. So what we have here is just a button. And that button can be placed anywhere. Inside of it is where the magic happens. There's the code to refer to that song.mp3 and control everything. And I explained the code a little bit in the video. And I also commented the code out real nice for you guys. And like I explained later in the video, this code can probably be well optimized. I just slapped it together real quick to serve the task at hand. Once again, there it is. So if you want to learn how to put this into effect in your Flash websites or applications, feel free. It'll be available for download and if you watch the video here, you'll learn how to set it all up. Okay, so first thing we'll do is notice what we have here. It's just some elements here to make up something that would be like my website or my application. And let's say that was in its own movie clip. I'm going to convert that to symbol, put it in a movie clip. Okay, so that's its own entity, its own thing. So inside that movie clip, let's double click. And now it, we're here with all the elements. Let's put a new layer on top. And let's call this audio. Background audio. This one we'll call site stuff. Alright, so on the background audio layer, let's grab the text tool and let's put some static text in and put in the capital W. And then we're going to go down to adjust the font from Arial to Webdings. So when you adjust to Webdings, you'll see it gives you that speaker symbol. And let's just go to Modify, Transform, Flip, Horizontal so it's pointed to the right alright now all you have to do is right click that convert to symbol and let's call this background audio movie clip OK now let's double click inside of it and here's where we're gonna program this audio to work the background audio to work and this thing here will be our toggle mechanism for them to pause it 
and play it again. Okay, now we're inside this movie clip. So what we'll do is make a couple of layers here. Let's put another layer in. The top layer, let's call that AS3 because that's where we'll put our action script 3 and let's lock it. Nothing's going to go in that layer but code. This layer, we're going to rename this to be play pause button. All right, now let's give that the color we want. Let's make it blur, a nice blur, and then uh, let's right-click that, convert to symbol. Let's call it play pause in the library. Also, and now let's give it an instance name. That play pause button on the play pause button layer. Let's just call it play button. But just keep in mind it's going to be a play and pause toggle button. But we'll instance name it play button. So it has an instance name, it's ready to go, but inside we have to do a couple of things to it. And we're going to go inside and we're going to create two layers, I mean two frames, two keyframes. So I'm just going to hit the second frame and press F6 to put a new keyframe inside. On the first frame, we're going to make this sucker gray like it's muted out. That'll be the muted version of it or the paused version. And here we'll leave it nice and bright and blue. But we're also going to stick a little animation on there. I'm going to go to the text tool. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to about 400. Let's go to the free transform tool. That way I can just size it up. Actually we'll leave that one big maybe about like that and that one will be here at the end now we'll press control C control shift V control C control shift V control C control shift V Let's copy and paste in place control C control shift V now this one's going to be the smallest so let's just make that small better nice this one will make a little bit bigger than that one this one a little bit bigger than the previous one you might even have to zoom in some more ah, that's not bad that's good that's very nice okay so now what I'm gonna do is highlight all of those convert to symbol name it whatever you want in your library that's fine we're just gonna go inside of it now <clears throat> and make a keyframe animation let's turn all of these gray and let's give it on frame 2 press F6 frame 3 F6 4 F6 frame 5 F6 we have 1 2 3 4 5 so that's all we need on the first one we're gonna change this to blue the second frame we're going to change this one to blue on the third frame third keyframe we're going to change the third one to blue fourth keyframe you guessed it right the fourth one and then the fifth one on frame five and you'll see what kind of animation that gives us if we drag our timeline mark see so that'll symbolize its playing give them a good animation and it'll draw the user's eye to it as well so now we can go back to 100 percent okay so as you notice this animated movie clip here is independent and it is on keyframe 2 which is the keyframe that's going to symbolize our active play mode keyframe 1 is going to symbolize in mute so now let's just you can double click in the gray area here or click here to go back to the background audio layer where we have our AS3 layer and everything and there you'll just have a little movie clip inside the movie clip there's our two frames remember let's go back here put in some action script 3 code and I'm going to explain the code to you really quick and we're gonna grab a sound file now so what I'll do is I'm gonna save this into a folder where I have a sound file already. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this file. 
I'm going to call this my site. Save. Let me show you that folder now. Right there, my website. You can see inside of it, there's a song mp3 file. Song.mp3. So that's how you would have it set up. You would just put your song wherever your SWF is on your server in your root folder of your website. You just throw that song file because that's how I'm going to code it out. So now we have it all saved in Flash. All we need is code to drive that button and have the audio play as well. We're going to highlight the Action Script 3 layer, press F9, open the scripting panel, the Actions panel, and we're going to pop in this code. Now I'm going to explain all this code to you. It might look like a lot, but I put a lot of comments in there, so it's breaking up the lines a little bit. So all you have to do is understand the code a little bit, and you already saw how I made the button. Okay, let's do a quick rundown of the code that's in place. So what you'll see in the code is a stop action on the first frame, and I have everything pretty well commented, so I'm not going to spend too much time explaining it. But we create the URL request object that is the URL to the MP3 on server that we want to play as the background music. Then we have an is playing boolean variable, which is set to false by default. Then we have the sound object. Then we have the channel for that sound object. Then we have a pause position, which is a number variable set to zero by default. And the pause position is used when the pause button is pressed. That way we can record what part of the song we're at. And then when they resume, it resumes from that part of the song. That's why we use a pause position. Then the channel we set to play right here. This is where the start playing happens. So once we start playing, we set the is playing boolean to, actually we could set it right here to true. And then remove this. I just slapped this code together real quick. So it could be optimized. This code could be optimized. And you'll see I'm doing a funny thing with my event listeners down here. And then we take the play button which has the instance name of play btn and we give it button mode equals true that way when the user's mouse goes over it like this it gets the little hand clicky symbol because it's just a movie clip it's not a button symbol actually so we have to assign the button mode to it for it to do that then the uh... the play button we go to and stop two because if we're playing right now then we want to show that animation on the play button and on be on frame two of the play button then we add a couple of event listeners. This first event listener is the click event, the mouse event of click, and that's on the play button. <coughs> so when the user clicks the play button, we fire up a function called play pause, which is this function right here. In function play pause, we have a condition set up to say if is playing variable is set to false, we do these things. And I commented the code pretty good so you can understand what's going on and then else if it's set is playing is set to true we run these things we execute this code now you'll see I have here in this condition the event listener again this is because I kept losing my event listener it wouldn't repeat the song it wouldn't loop the song unless I added this here and I had to also add the event listener for the on playback complete so it'll loop the song in the on playback complete function itself. So I'm sure this code could probably be optimized to where you'll get the looping that you want and everything without having to add these event listeners, but this code works just fine. So the last thing we have is the event listener for the channel sound complete. When the song ends, I want it to loop and that's why I put that event listener there so I can trigger it to play again in this function called on playback complete, which is sitting right here. On playback complete, what happens is we set the pause position back to zero, channel set to play again, so we start playing the sound again. Is playing is obviously set to true because the sound is playing again. And then we add the event listener for the next time the song completes. And that's how it works. You can see it works just fine. When your Flash application opens or your site opens, it'll be playing by default with an animation. They click stop or pause and it stops a song. Then they resume. So that's how it's done. We'll wrap this up and have it in a downloadable package for you guys that want to get at it.
but that's a good clean way to uh, to put background music in continuous play with controls in your website. Okay, we'll see you guys next lesson.